Hello. Today we are going to make this very simple baby carriage embellishment. Isn't that cute? So easy. Alrighty. So first of all, we need something round. So I looked on my desk and I thought, you know, this is round. So, and this is about the size of a card front because this is a card front here and that's like a perfect size. Why not? You can make it smaller if you wanted to, but I thought this is a nice idea to do it this size. Plus I have some silly heads that I want to stick out and I want to, I want to play with it. <laughs> not necessarily make it into a baby card, but that's okay. Alrighty. So this is the piece I've got for next. Um, you do want a nice thick piece of cardstock. Um, if you don't have the, the thicker grade, because this, this piece here that I cut out, it's real flimsy. The paper is really pretty, but you, I would need to put this, I would need to back it with either a piece of thin cardboard packaging or even a piece of cardstock, okay? Um, but then I found this piece and I thought, ooh, that would be pretty too. So let's do this one. Alrighty, so I'm going to lay this down on here and I'm going to try to get as close to a corner as possible. So there's the corner there, and there's the corner there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw that out. There we go. We're gonna cut the circle out. This is the hardest part, I think, is cutting out the circle. Perfect. And if you have any points, just snip those points off. Or you can use a nail file and you can smooth the, the points out. Okay. And that'll just kind of smooth it around the edges. It takes that roughness of the scissors off of it. Okay. So there's a neat little tip for you. Alrighty, now we want to make this bite out of it. So in order to do that, then we're going to turn it over. We're going to take our pencil and we're going to eyeball. Where's, where's the center? So put a dot right in the center. All right, looks close enough to me. It does not have to be perfect, okay? Mine is definitely not perfect. I notice mine's over this way more than this way, but that's okay. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to line it up on a line and try to, try to get it in the middle, so I'm gonna put it in the middle of this big white square here, or gray square. All right, because what you wanna do is you wanna find one top and then one side, okay? So then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut from one up to the next. Okay, so from one side up to the center, there you go. Only one of them, don't cut the other one yet. So cut just the one, and now we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna go between this cut and this mark, and we're gonna find the center, okay, right there. And then from this uh, mark here and this center, we're gonna do another center in between those. And then from this mark again and this one, we're gonna do another center in the middle of those. This last mark that we just made, let me bring this up and I'll draw it a little bit darker so you can see. So we started out, we did these two marks. You cut the one, okay? And then you're gonna go from this mark to this mark and mark the center, which is right here. Then you're gonna go from these two marks and mark the center, which would be here. Then you're gonna go from these two marks and mark the center, which would be here. And this is the one we're gonna cut from here into the middle, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and line our scissors up there and cut right into the middle. Till that piece falls off there you go all right and what that does is it makes it so that it looks like instead of it being straight up and down like a pac-man it's got that front the upper top looks like it's kind of closing a little bit and that's what you want okay all righty so we've got that piece we no longer need this little piece you can save that for something else 
Alrighty, and now for the wheels. Alrighty, you can use real buttons for this, which looks absolutely adorable. Um, I don't have many buttons, so I usually just make my own. And I have this little button set, which I have not found on, on Amazon in quite a while. I apologize for that. Um, I do like to, <coughs> if and when I do see it again, I will definitely reattach it, okay? But this is a 5 8 inch hole. Um, if you've got a little hole punch or again, you know, pull out your nail polishes, the tops of your nail polishes, or because these are like perfect, perfect size to go around or this part, depends on what size you want the wheels. Maybe you want them bigger. These ones are on the small side. It might look even cuter with bigger wheels. So, but for me, I already have this, so I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Whoops, I need that back. All right, so what I've done is I've cut three pieces to make mine. I did two out of packaging. So that's the thick cardboard, which is gonna go right on the back, okay? Then for the black, I wanted to see the white through it. So I went ahead and I punched the holes and then cut the circle out. And that's what this is. So I punched the holes and cut the circle out. Then I punched out two pieces of cardstock, just the holes. So now I've got to glue this onto this. So if you're doing this by hand, you can certainly make buttons by hand by just tracing around items and using your little eighth of an inch hole punch. You don't have to do four holes, you do two holes. When you get one, after making a couple of them, once you get a pattern, save it, okay? Save your pattern because it's really hard to line those up. But once you get one that's lined up, save it for your pattern because then you can use it in the future. Alrighty, and that's what I did before I found these. Alright, so now these are both glued together. So now we have to glue this onto, oops, is that coming apart? Yes, it is. I guess I didn't put enough glue in there. Let me squirt some of this glue in there. That'll work. There, okay. Ta-da! Gotta love those ta-da moments, right? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up. I'm going to take the, the release paper off, and I'm going to use this 3D foam that I've got on, on these back pieces to line up the wheels. So I'm going to go like this and go, okay, well, I want them about this far apart. And I want to make sure this line is going straight. And I want to line this up in the middle if I can, keeping this straight. All right, so that looks about right, right there. Okay, if it's off a little bit, don't sweat it, it's okay. All right, so the back wheels are put on, the back portion of the wheels, and it's sticky. All we have to do now is line these up and put them on. So I just line them up on one side and press it down. Line it up and press it down. Ta-da! And it's made. Is that easy or what? Pretty simple dimple, huh? All right, now you have your embellishment. You can embellish it in any way you want to. I was thinking, sometimes I like to just keep it like this, um, but I was also thinking that it might be pretty if we did a little base on it. And you could definitely do that by cutting a piece and putting it in behind here. Wouldn't that be cute? So this is what it looks like by itself, but if you put the little bit of lace right behind it, or a little piece of doily or something, wouldn't that be pretty? Okay, so you can decorate it like that if you'd like to. I'll show you on this one. And you don't need very much. I mean, look at that little tiny bit that I've got on there. It's about maybe two inches, an inch and a half. Isn't that simple? Alrighty, so there you go. These are my embellishments that I've made for the day. I hope you like this idea. It is very, very simple as you can see. Just a matter of a large circle and then two small circles or buttons if you've got them, okay? And then you get to embellish them. You can put bling on them. You can line the bling up. You can put little pearls on it, however you wanna do it. Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. 
And if you like these type of videos, all of these embellishments that I've been sharing lately, please keep giving me those thumbs up. I seem to have a, a lot of people that are very interested. And this is a wonderful, simple way to use up scraps is by making embellishments. Alrighty. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.